Hi everyone, thank you so much for viewing. Welcome to my channel. I'm Ajaya. Okay, thank for all of you who have liked, subscribed, and shared my videos. But if you have not, please do so, and I appreciate you. So, today I'm going to be talking about a financial strategy with low with very low to low risk, that means of losing your principal. So I'm going to give you these four things that you can put your money in to build your wealth and uh, grow your wealth and help you to be, um, you know, at your retirement, uh, close to your retirement, to have 300000 to up to five hundred thousand dollars and so um the first one and this is i'm starting from the very low risk is a savings bond now you can look this up yourself on the website the u.s government treasury uh website and that will uh help you to be able to understand understand how to get them um how much you have to pay for them now there is a quite long term about 30 years but if you got time to wait definitely they're a, a good investment a good solid investment and you won't lose any of your money basically you could start for like 50 a hundred dollars and you could buy one every month or every year if you need to, if you want to use this instrument. Um, or you can do the treasury bonds. The first one is savings bond. And this one, I do have these in the same category. They both is number one. The treasury bonds, they take for like a $1,000 uh, more. And they give you like 4% to like 8 and 9% depending on which one you get and what uh, time you get it. They both are through the government. So they are very uh, secure. And they will not cause you to lose any of your money. Now you can lose money on the treasury bond. You cannot sell the savings bond, but you can sell like a treasury bond on your own, your own in the market, and you can lose money that way. But as far as keeping it to term, you will not lose any of your money. The next one is a savings account. Now, I know savings accounts are notorious for not giving you a lot of benefits, but there are quite a few of them online that will give you two, even 3% um, of interest on your savings. And so definitely look those up and check them out and place your money in there. And also place your, like the six months, uh, like, you know, the expense money that you save. Uh, so if something happened, emergency fund, place that in there also so it can grow, uh, continue to grow for you. And, you know, and just keep adding to it. And it's great to have it because it's very liquid. And and 3% is not totally good, good, but it's, it's good over time. It's good over time and it's uh, a safe, you know. All of these are supported by the government and so you're not going to lose any of your money through any of those means. And next uh, is, so that's one and two. One is the U.S. Savings Bond and Treasury Bond. Two is the savings account. Now it is, I do want to mention, it is some company that come to mind like Citibank uh, and I like financial, uh, you know, but definitely Google them and look them up, you know, the savings account online and see which one will give you the best amount. 
The third is the IRA and the Roth and the uh, regular IRA. So um, easy to invest in. You can find them through your bank or you can find them through um, like AIG or other companies online. Uh, but research it and make sure that you get the best result. They're also in insurance companies, uh, they're banks, insurance companies, and uh, things like that. But try to make sure you get the best, uh, the best interest rate. So those are IRAs, both Roth and uh, and the regular IRA. And make sure you fully fund them, especially if you can, because that uh, money work for you just more than uh, putting it in there. It work for me for you for uh, separating that. I mean, subtracting that amount from your taxable income. Next is annuity. Annuity is not talked about a lot, and most people really don't know what they are. But they are insurance product. Uh, so, in saying that, I uh, want to make sure that you choose the right insurance company to get your annuity through, uh, because it is. Uh, only it's valid as the insurance company. So if you get a uh, you know, an insurance company that's not good, going to go out of business, you're probably not going to get your money. But if you get an insurance company like State Farm or AIG, you know, even if they do go out, they probably going to still, like, pay you your annuity. Because, uh, you know, they've been made to have to set that money aside. So annuity is like a it's sort of like an IRA. Uh, you, know, you put the money in and it just grows uh, with interest. And the interest is about the same. Uh, not as far as a bank is concerned, but the interest is about 3 or 4%. And sometimes 5 depending on which one you get. But make sure you get the annuity that... Uh, that don't allow like a fixed annuity that don't allow you know for any loss of your money the next one is the ETFs and I think I'm saying it right and the crypto now the reason I say the crypto is because it's very easy to get into crypto and it's a very low amount although you can lose your money so it is some risk and the etf you can lose some of your principal in the etf i think i'm saying that right <laughs> but um i have two of them but i never really look at them um so but you can lose some of your money you can lose some of your interest and so forth and so on but they like the crypto it pays a good percentage, you know, like some sometimes 10, 20, 30 uh, percent over time. Uh, but I would like to say be patient with crypto. Pick out of the top uh, 20 and get the cheapest, best ones that you can so you won't have to invest a lot of money. And if they do grow, you have a lot of promise. ETF. It do take a, a, quite a more money than most people have to get into them by five, ten, some of them $10,000. But um, with Fidelity and some of those companies, um, you know, I think um, TD Ameritrade and you can buy them which is sort of tied to the stock market but they have a, a large group of stocks where you buy like fractional shares so 
uh, you won't lose a lot of your money, but you can use some, lose some. I have lost uh, some money in there, you know, from time to time. But uh, in all of these, they all are, are good and you can invest in all of them or you can pick the ones that is more beneficial to you that you could do. You could pick the ones with the a lower risk. Now the one is with the lower risk, uh, basically it's gonna be just the compounding interest that's growing your money, which is really good over time. And with the uh, ones with the with the somewhat risk, it's gonna be the interest mainly, and that's growing your money. So it's a little bit more aggressive. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. So these are five things can help you grow your money from you know like a hundred dollars to. Two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars over twenty-five years. So definitely do not be shy to get into this, and even more. So I want to thank you guys again so much for viewing today. I appreciate you guys. Take care. Bye.